It may look serene, but there's something creepy hidden at the bottom of this Carolina Lake Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell for more No light or sound penetrates the watery depths of Lake Chicassee its name in Cherokee means place of the lost one and you'll need a strong nerve to dive into it not to mention a powerful flashlight Still cast a beam across its murky bed and you'll glimpse the macabre remains of a long-lost time and place Fringing the Blue Ridge escarpment in South Carolina Lake Jocassee is surrounded by deep forested hills cut with vertiginous gorges The clean clear waters of four Appalachian rivers feed the lake which is no small body of water its shoreline measures 75 miles while its area extends for 7,500 acres National Geographic placed the Jocassee Gorges ninth on its list of 50 of the world's last great places However long before it was the center of outdoor recreation the region was populated by Native Americans the East Ato, Oconee and Cherokee all called it home The first European to chart the region however was Hernando de Soto in 1539 and in 1690 he was followed by a British gold hunter James Moore Indeed by the late 1700s European presence was well established in the gorges and this was maintained by an extensive trade network with the Native American locals In fact Kiowee town was an important Cherokee market and trade hub where deer skins and other local resources could be exchanged for European guns clothing and tools That said relations between the Cherokee and Europeans eventually deteriorated Indeed this culminated in a trade embargo and the construction of a British fort opposite Kiwi town However in 1785 General Andrew Pickens secured a deal with local chiefs that gave almost all the Jocassee gorges to the United States of America The ensuing waves of American settlers were mostly descended from Scottish and Irish immigrants Life though was challenging for those early pioneers They survived by growing corn and making liquor raising hogs and rearing children wrote C. T. Weish and J. Kilgo in The Blue Wall Tough and independent they married among themselves forming strong ties of blood kinship They built schools and churches opened stores and ran gristmills However, the advent of industrialization brought a dramatic change to the region the gorges massive oaks and tulip trees Some of them more than two centuries old and 200 feet tall were particularly prized by the big lumber companies Indeed these firms bought up vast tracts of the countryside By the mid 20th century the rise of consumer culture meant that demands for energy skyrocketed and at the same time Farming had become increasingly tenuous in the Jocassee gorges Enter the Duke power company which in 1965 announced its plan to harness the region's considerable hydroelectric potential But before Duke power constructed the Jocassee pump storage hydroelectric station the dam responsible for creating Lake Jocassee it extracted some 17.5 million board feet of pine saw timber from the gorges That would be enough material the company boasted to build more than 2,000 houses in 1973 though Duke power ultimately closed the gates on its dam its 1750 foot long wall forging the 300 foot deep Lake Jocassee the flood moreover washed away centuries of local history and memories and this included the cemetery of Mount Carmel Baptist Church which had been used as a location for the 1972 film deliverance The church was dismantled and moved before the flood, but what about the bodies? It's hard to know for sure, but at least some of them were disinterred and transported to new graveyards Duke power also constructed the Duke power company Memorial Cemetery for the bodies of unknown persons or those without living relatives other structures were not so fortunate a local hotel the Atacula Lodge was submerged fully intact after its owners refused to allow it to be demolished It's still there too at the bottom of the lake and one local reportedly dove into its ruins to retrieve a light fixture as a souvenir What else is down there? Well several intrepid divers had captured images of a sunken sailboat rumored to have gone down in a storm Beneath the water its wrecked body is eerily illuminated by greenish light well a sign nailed to its side reads beware of zombies a Few other fragments such as street signs have been spotted as well But what of the extensive archaeological remains that were likely washed away in the flood? One of the early Native American and European sites that once dotted the region Answering that question Luther Lyle of Oconee County's Arts and Historical Commission told the Independent Mail 
The Cherokee were all up and down the river and a lot is already underwater There's a wealth of knowledge and information to be gained from what's still above the lake I think the mindset has changed since the lakes were put in and we realize how much we've lost Fortunately in 2007 Duke Energy commissioned a private archaeological survey of the area The region is rich in history and we believe it's important to identify archaeological and historic sites within the reservoir Joe Hall a Duke Energy manager told the Independent Mail Likewise the company's also been involved in efforts to conserve what remains of the gorgeous rare plant and animal species For one thing the creation of the lake is believed to have severely impacted the natural habitat of the Oconee Bell a Wildflower discovered by botanist Andre Michaud in 1788 In fact the collaboration of the state business and civil society groups has helped establish around 43,000 acres of protected land in the Jacassi Gorges their management plan acknowledges the scientific and educational value of the region as well as its recreational value for fishing hunting hiking and of course diving Progress comes at a price, but in this instance it also brought rewards for the locals Jobs energy and a fantastic recreational lake are just some of the benefits provided by the Jacassi hydroelectric station For some of those alive before 1973 though it represents a loss of the place. They called home Only time will tell whether Duke power can ultimately address their concerns